Thank you so much for coming. It is a great day today. My name is Chef Cheryl Tate. This is the Chef and with Cheryl show. This is brought to you by the LA South Chamber of Commerce, our Hope Foundation, where we're helping other people every day. This is our mantra. This is what we do. This is what we live for South LA. Again, thank you so much for coming. And we have a lot to talk about, okay? Um, this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, okay? I have my pink on, you know. Uh, cancer is something that um, affects us every single day. We can talk about so many things every single day. There's always a month relegated for a certain ailment or a certain something. We need to be talking about these things every single day because we're affected by them. Cancer is a stressor, okay? It means that something's going on in our body that shouldn't be. And there's things that we need to do to offset that. There's always something we can do to offset that, regardless of the circumstances. Regardless of the circumstances, there's always something you can do to better your health. And one is by eating well. That's not the only one. We need to understand that. It's not just eating well. It's a lot of things. So as a personal chef, you know, I work a lot with people. I'm, I work with them very closely. And then in teaching in the community, I also see my community. But I'm also just really interested in where I am. I grew up in Willowbrook, California, which is, you know, it's in South LA, okay? And so usually... We don't move very far from where we grew up unless we just move completely. So statistically, we move about seven miles perimeter from wherever it is that we grew up in. So I moved west to Hawthorne, okay? And Hawthorne's a wonderful city. You know, there's a lot going on here. But I happened to read one day about air pollution and how air pollution causes inflammation. So what does inflammation do? Inflammation causes, well, stress causes inflammation. Inflammation, excuse me. It's usually like a domino uh, effect. So we have to fight these things that are around us. Okay, like I said, air pollution causes inflammation. Okay, so inflammation, of course, um, is not good for us. It's some sort of stress, uh, creates oxidation. Okay, which is fighting our body, which causes cancer. Okay, air pollution. All right. So we are in South Los Angeles. Willowbrook, really, if you look about it, is surrounded by industry. You know, and there were a lot of things going on there. There was a, a goodness, live next to oil refineries. Okay, there was petroleum processing. There's a lot of things going on in our neighborhood. I, we could talk about Carson farther down the street where that location is. But let me just tell you a little bit about Hawthorne because I live in Hawthorne and um, this is what I am exposed to. I'm right in the flight path of the Hawthorne Airport. It's so fun having those jets go over my head. It's fun to watch, okay? I live here at an international airport. I can see the planes come in from LAX at night, you know, when I'm looking out my window. So they're about seven, eight before COVID. There was about maybe nine, 10 you know, taxi to come in, okay? I live near two freeways. I live near the intersection of the 405 and the 105, okay? And we're gonna put the cherry on top. If we go, if we point due west, there's a refinery. It's right on the other side of Sepulveda, right before the beach. Now, what did I just say? I said a flight, I said two flight paths, two freeways and a refinery. So the air here may, may look nice and clear here, but it, there's some problems going on. <laughs> you know, th there is air pollution, it's clear what we're experiencing here. And we you know, we really think we live in a nice area. It is a nice area, but we live in Los Angeles and we are affected by the air pollution that goes along. This is a driving city, everybody got a car. Okay, if you don't have a car, you might have two wheels, you might have two wheels, you might have three wheels, you might have one wheel, okay? <laughs> but we're all moving, we're all going. So there's some sort of powering going on. There's some sort of emission happening. So air pollution 
is tied to cancer. What can you do about that? What can you do about that? Okay, because it's all around us. Like I said, I don't plan on moving anytime soon, even with what I have right here that I'm um, that I'm affected with. So what do I do? I try to be very intentional. Try to be very intentional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about things that we can do for our health that really don't cost that much. And if we do it, you know, it, it, it's always going to be there. And one of those things is Himalayan salt lamps, because right now we're talking about air pollution. We're going to talk about antioxidant food, but we're going to talk about air pollution because it's something that we can't get away from. We can't get away from that. Okay. So Himalayan salt lamps, as you see, this is nice and orange. I'm going to pick it up. You can see it. This is nice and orange and glowing. Okay. So if you know Chef Cheryl, you know Chef Cheryl talks about Himalayan pink salt. Okay, and how if you ingest this, it has 84 minerals and trace elements, and it's really good for your body when you ingest it. But this is how it was introduced to me. It was, it was introduced to me in a lamp form because at one time, my family, excuse me, put this back in here. At one time, I was really looking for some things to combat the electromagnetic frequency that was going on. Okay, the cell phones and everything. So I was intentionally looking for something that was going to combat this. And I found this. Okay. And so since I found it, I have stuck with it ever since. So what do Himalayan salt lamps do? I'm going to try and not pick it up so much. So how's that? It cleans the air. What it does, it emits negative ions that cling to any allergens in the air and pulls it down on the ground. So, okay, what's the fallout of this? Well, you may have, uh, you know, your floor may be a little dustier, but your air will be cleaner. Negative ions clean the air. This is just something that I happened to learn. I came across it because I was looking. I was looking for something that was going to lower you know, the oxidation or everything. I wanted to stop whatever radiation was going on from the cell phone, from the flat screen, from the from the uh, PlayStation. So I found this. These are easily to acquire. You can buy them from Amazon. There have been numerous rep reputable uh, uh, vendors that sell this. I at one time used to sell it. So that's why I have a lot of them. But I would encourage you because once you buy this, you won't have to buy it again. The only thing you'll need to do is just replace the lamp. So again, I'm going to tell you a little bit about these. Well, for one, this is very calming. This light is very calming. So it's going to reduce your stress level. Okay, that's one of the things it's going to do. One of these things, that's what I love about these lamps. They reduce your stress level. You know, I, I found that when people come over my house, when I had two great big ones in my house, people want to come and just sit in because they like the glow. Okay, it's very stress reducing. Let's say you come home from a hard day at work and you've got your salt lamp. Just sit under your salt lamp and chill for a minute. So that really, really helps. Uh, there will be information on how you can acquire these lamps. I have them in every room, okay? Because I'm very intentional about um, my health. And, you know, just learning that uh, pollution causes inflammation, which, you know, is a stressor, which causes cancer. I've been doing this for so long, knowing that this is something that I've been doing to protect my health makes me feel good. Okay, so this is one of the things that I just really want us to learn about, to learn about, okay? Because it has suited me, it, it has suited me well, okay? Now, again, yeah, I could talk about food, and yes, we're going to talk about food, but we're a whole people, okay? So, yes, we need to eat well, but at the same token, you know, we all, there's just things that we need to do. You know, we need to be physically active. I don't want to sound redundant in this, but of all the research that I've done on uh, eliminating stress, fighting cancer, uh, health and well-being, you know, just all of this really comes back to the basic stuff. You eat well, 
you know, get out and get some exercise, you know, maintain a healthy weight. All these things we're talking about can be acquired if we do a little bit at a time. We're in a very stressful environment. There's a lot that is going on in our world. So these may seem like things that are simple, but if we're not doing them, then there's a cause and effect, okay? Uh, I enjoy the cause and effect of my lamp that I have them around. So I know it's automatically reducing my stress level. I don't have to think about that. <clears throat> Getting enough sleep. Getting enough sleep is just very important. And again, I don't really not like to sound redundant, but if we don't talk about these things, because we can talk about healthy eating all day long, you can eat wonderful, you can go do that exercise, but if you're not getting enough sleep, now, Brother Dick Gregory used to tell us, you know, if you don't have enough sleep, it could kill you. Okay, so, you know, we want to think about what our elders tell us. And if, you know, your elders tell you, you need to go sleep and get some sleep, then we need to take that in consideration. Really need to take that in consideration. Quit smoking. Okay, we'll leave that for another time because we also know, you know, we, we know what causes cancer as far as that realm is smoking. Okay, avoiding too much alcohol. Those things, smoking and alcohol, are just things we need to really take a personal inventory and say, do we really need that? Considering where we live, what we're doing, what we're exposed to. Yes, it can be something that, you know, uh, is a distraction of some kind. But these are things that we need to consider because statistically, Black women have more... Um, are diagnosed with breast cancer higher than other races, okay? And, and this isn't surprising, but men have the highest, black men have the highest statistic of breast cancer. Yes, men. So they are just as stressed as we are. I can't even say that they eat as good as black women. But these are things we need to consider. So Black men, yes, they do get breast cancer. And so these are things that we need to take in consideration. Maybe you should go get your brother a lamp, you know? <laughs> that would be something that you wouldn't have to do. You wouldn't have to think about. You wouldn't have to say, oh, I wonder if he's eating good. Well, I know he's got that lamp. That'll help. You know, so we have to use all these modalities that really help us. So... And let's come back and let's talk about food. So color is so important. You know, Chef Cheryl, I always talk about color meaning something. So we are in the fall season. I love fall because, you know, I love the colors. It's sweater season. Even though we have climate change, it's going to get a little cooler. And I like that. We pull out our hoodies, pull out our, um, our sweaters and everything. But it's time, it's apple time, it's pumpkin time, okay? So we know that, oh my gosh, it's going to be pumpkin picking, there's going to be squash and all that stuff. All the orange and yellows come out. The leaves, train, the leaves change colors, okay? So we, it's really nice time, okay? So, you know, the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, you know, that's very true because apples have great antioxidant in them. They have uh, enzymes that help you digest your food. So really, this, this, you know, these simple sayings really do take us far if we just get back to them. Okay, so this is an apple that I picked um, in Oak Glen on Sunday, we went apple picking. And that was one of the most wonderful things to go do. You're out in the, it was just beautiful. It was really beautiful. And that was stress reducing, okay? Because there wasn't even a good connection out there. You couldn't use, you, you used your cell phone, you know, you were lucky, but um, there was no connection out there. But apples are great, 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 great. Also, excuse me, is um, butternut squash. Now, butternut squash is orange. Here's a piece of, here's some butternut squash that I took one and I cut it in half. So this is how it looks in the store, okay? 
That's how it looks in the store. And this is squash, okay? And so look how orange and pretty it is on the inside. So we know orange is beta carotene. And beta carotene is an antioxidant. What did we just talk about? Antioxidants. So all these um, inflammation, air pollution, all this stuff, if we're eating color, then we're fighting our oxidative stress. So this is a time of year when we really should be, you know, loading up on our squash and our, our vegetables. Here's some sweet potatoes, orange, some pumpkin. I got this in the store. I got a pineapple in the store. I don't know where it's from. You know, I like always like to think about where this where our produce comes from. But we're very fortunate that we can go in the store and get pineapples. We are very fortunate we can go in the store and get produce. You know, living in Southern California has its good points about it as far as availability. So take advantage, take advantage and, and, and eat produce. This is what is going to save you, okay? It is what is going to keep you from the oxidative, st oxidative stress. It's that time of year. We should be eating more vegetables this time of year. This time of year, it's a good time, you know, because again, it's getting colder. Um, we're going to start bundling up. We're going to start getting ready for the holidays. You know, we know in the holidays, gear up is going to be more sweets going on. So if we think about, okay, what kind of sweets? Okay, there's always that pumpkin pie, those sweet potatoes. So, and again, that's good because you are eating the beta carotene. You are eating the beta carotene. So we might want to just think about what type of um, sugars or sweeteners that we're putting on. We don't always have to put a sweetener on. We, we just really don't, okay? So I took this butternut squash and I cut it up. Here's some of it. Here's some butternut squash that I cut up, okay? And I roasted it along with some apples, okay? So here it is. We have roasted butternut squash with sweet potatoes and apples. And the only thing I put on it was agave nectar and just a little bit of it and seasoning. So this is a great side dish for Thanksgiving, even though it's very simple, but it's not very sweet. And when you roast vegetables, you bring out the natural sugar in those vegetables. It, it's something it's called the Maillard effect. But what you need to know is when you roast vegetables, you are bringing out the natural sugar in it. So you really don't need a lot of sugar and butter. You know, those are just things that we thought we needed. We really don't need it. You need to let the taste of the vegetable come through because they're very good. They're very good. You know, nature gave us everything we needed. We need to get back to that. We think we need lots of uh, uh, sauces and 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 things that you put on, you know, condiments that you put on uh, your vegetables and everything. You really don't need that much. Less is better. Less is better. So spaghetti squash. I was reading the other day that spaghetti squash um, is really good in um, protein. And it's a definitely a good carb replacement. Definitely a good car replacement. Okay, so this is spaghetti squash. Okay, I cut it in half and I hadn't take the seeds out of it because I just want you to see how it looks. Okay, how it looks once you cut it. Okay, just like the, just like the uh, butternut squash. So what I did was I roasted the spaghetti squash. Okay, and again, this is spaghetti squash. So I'm going to take my fork. I don't know if you can see this. This is kind of hot. But I'm going to take my fork and I'm just going to lightly flake it. And it comes out looking like pasta. It's spaghetti squash. Okay. I'm going to show this to you in a second. Okay. It's spaghetti squash. Okay. This is a wonderful carb replacement. I cannot tell you how great a vegetable this is. Oh, you see this in the store, you walk past it, what is that? 
you know, spaghetti squash. Don't be afraid to pick it up and buy it and go home with it. If you're not sure what to do with it, call me. But Google is your friend as far as recipes are concerned, as far as understanding vegetables. Um, <clears throat> I love to look up whatever it is that I'm talking about and get very good information on it so I can bring it to you. But spaghetti squash is one of those number one things. Okay, now, really, this is how simple we're going to do this, right? So I have some, I'm not, I, I have some tomatoes here, but I'm going to take it just one more step because I already have some tomatoes. I have the sun-dried tomatoes, okay? And don't we usually put sun-dried sun -dried tomatoes in pasta? Don't we usually do that? Okay, so we're going to treat this just like pasta. Just like pasta because it is. It's spaghetti squash, okay? So we're going to put a little bit of sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes, something you should have in your pantry. Okay, right? And pesto. Pesto is another something one should have in their pantry. I did a pantry, pantry one and pantry two, as far as the basics you should have in your pantry when you go to cook. You know, the more prepared you are, the, be the more confident you are about cooking. Okay, so I have on my spaghetti squash, pesto, and I also have sun-dried tomatoes, put a little seasoning on here. Of course, my mural of flavor, I'm a Penzi's fan, you know, Chef, Chef Cheryl knows that. I know Chef Cheryl, you know, she, she uses. Okay, a little bit of olive oil, okay? So I'm just gonna mix this up. Okay, it just, it's really simple. We, we tend to make things, more difficult than they are. It really does not take that much to eat well, especially if you're um, eating vegetables because vegetables, you know, they're, they're the star of the show. Of course, you want a protein, any kind you want a grain, but your vegetables, you know, your vegetables are the star of the show. So here we have spaghetti squash with pesto and sun-dried tomatoes. And I have, I have a couple of tomatoes right here. I'm just gonna put here because I don't I don't have any um, green, but I'm gonna put some green on it. But you can put spinach on this. You can top it with herbs. You can top it with parsley. You can top it with basil. All of this. Let me fix it because it's one day. Okay, this is awesome. Mm. Really good. Now. Spaghetti squash, you know, it is a vegetable. So you may want to put a little salt on it. Um, again, my seasoning right here was wonderful. Oh, there's salt. My Himalayan pink salt. Himalayan pink salt. Okay. So here we have a wonderful spaghetti squash. And we also have butternut squash with apples and um, sweet potatoes. So we have beta carotene going on here. Very, very important. So we need to be very intentional about what it is that we're talking about as far as our help, because there are so many factors that go into us keeping our immune system up and we all have control of it so again i need us to be intentional okay you know we're intentional about what we wear we really are we're intentional about what we wear. we're going to the concert we have to make sure we're intentional and wear whatever it is we gonna wear okay are you intentional about what you're eating do you really know where you live? Do you what what's where where do you live? Where do you live? What's around you? Well, mind you, I've been living here for 20-something years and I forgot that there was a refinery west of me. Okay, but it, we're fortunate because one, we're right by the ocean and we have an ocean breeze, so we're really not affected by that air pollution. As again in Willowbrook growing up, there was always a breeze that was coming through there because due west, of course, was the ocean. But if we're looking at other areas that are in Los Angeles, east of us, 
don't get the, the, uh, the beauty of a nice breeze. And there are refineries and there are uh, factories and there are uh, uh, companies that are spewing pollution. So we really have to be more intentional as far as what it is we're doing for our health. So I, again, want us to think about it. You really have to be more intentional about what it is that we're doing. And when I say it's uh, stress reducing, sometimes it's just okay to turn off your phone. I really believe in, you know, in taking a break. <laughs> I really believe in going apple picking. <laughs> I really believe in going to the park. You know, parks are, again, wonderful places where we can go. Well, why is that? Well, why are parks nice? Well, for starters, parks have trees and grass, okay? And those are negative ions that are being emitted. So that is a reason why they have lots of parks around for you to go and for you to, you know, play in the grass and play in the trees and play amongst the, you know, play amongst the, the negative ions. So it's something to take in consideration. You know, we, we, we think about the things that we have available to us, but we don't really, really think about it, okay? There, there, there's another, another reason, there's another step. And that step sometimes is um, health benefits. Yeah, it's nice we got a park over here. Well, gosh, let's go over here and get some negative ions. Okay, wow. Maybe I need to go buy a, you should go buy a lamp because I can't be in the park all the time. I need those negative, those negative ions. You know, a plane, a, a, a jet just flew by. I'm really excited about that plane flying by. But gosh, if, if we really think about it, yes, that is air pollution. And that is a stressor. And that is cancer causing. Okay, so again, just being intentional and understanding where we are and, you know, how we move about. So again, Color is just so, so, so important. Taking a break, reducing your stress is just more important than I can ever say. And again, we are in, um, in 2023, you know, we're dealing with, uh, we're dealing with COVID. We're still dealing with COVID after three years. I don't think we'll be done with COVID for a while. But I've always been intentional about my immune system. <clears throat> I guess that's maybe one of the reasons why I talk so much because I, I, I take in consideration everything. So what I have done, because again, you know, being a personal chef and looking, uh, being a parent, you know, being a chef, looking at uh, different things, looking at people, because that's my life. I have found that you know, sometimes, you know, those flu shots don't always work. <laughs> I don't want to talk about them much, but sometimes they don't always work. And sometimes they'll make you sick. So what I happened to do one year when my kids got sick, you know, from, you know, getting their uh, annual flu shot, they got sick. And I said, I don't think I want them to have this anymore. I just don't think that it would be good. Okay. And so I went about looking for something that would, that would keep their immune system up. Because again, I'm intentional about what it is I do. I have a healthy immune system. Um, I work on it all the time. Um, I'm aware of it. I'm aware of it. I'm aware of what's going on in the world and how it's affecting us. So I happened to make something. I happened to make a juice. And it came, you know, gosh, oh, I'm sick. What am I going to do? Well, let me drink this. Let me drink this. Let me drink this pineapple juice with this orange juice. Let me put some ginger in it. Yeah, some turmeric might be good. Wow. So I came up with this juice and it's come through very, a lot of iterations. But what I can tell you is that most of the ingredients in it are, um, let me see, <laughs> cayenne, which is red, which is again, in color and life. Um, is always uh, a nutrient. Okay, so if you've got pineapple juice, if you've got orange juice, 
Okay, what's that orange? The orange is what? Beta carotene. The pineapple, pineapple is an excellent, excellent uh, source of vitamin D. We should always have pineapple in our lives. We should always be eating vegetables every single day. If you're looking at your plate and there's no vegetable there, you might want to reconsider that plate. You just might want to, okay? Because there's always two things that you're doing when you're eating. You're, e you're either for whatever it is or you're against whatever it is. You know how that, that hot fudge, ice cream, nuts, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Um, maybe a little apple with some hummus. Okay. You know, choices, choices. But so again, color is so important. So again, orange, beta carotene. So we have ingredients that are uh, very good for you. Okay. Turmeric is an awesome, awesome antioxidant. Awesome, awesome antioxidant. I was talking with someone today and um, they wanted to get some, but they were a diabetic. So oh, I'm a diabetic. I don't know what I could do. Well, gosh, you know what I told them to do was get some turmeric ginger tea. Okay, because, you know, this has a lot of sweet in it and it's good for you, no doubt. But with people with different modalities, of course, with diabetic, you don't want all that sugar. So what did I do? I just made the suggestion, hey, get some ginger turmeric tea, okay? And don't sweeten it. You know, you have your tea. You, of course, you're hydrating. You're getting those herbs, okay? And um, that'll help you along. But the ginger and the turmeric, okay? Because we know ginger is a root. Well, both ginger and turmeric are roots, okay? And of course, when we look at them, they're orange and yellow, Okay, turmeric is a bright orange. That color, that beta carotene, it's a root vegetable. It comes from the ground. So we understand that it's going to be nutrient dense. It's going to do a good job of, of um, promoting your health. So if you want some everyday elixir, the information will be at the end of the, of the video because this will be on... Uh, this will be on YouTube, and this is the LA South Chamber of Commerce, so if you want to get in touch with me, I'm always here. I am the Health and Wellness Director of the LA South Hope Foundation. I am privileged and honored to have this position because it gives me a platform to go out and talk about health and wellness. It gives me a platform where I can go out and help uh, help promote health and wellness, but it also gives me a platform to help people. And that is our mantra, which is helping other people every day. So along with our health and wellness department, we have nurse practitioners, we have uh, trainers, we have chefs also, we have, um, goodness, we have uh, health services, we have a great number of people on our health and wellness team that are all masters in what it is they do. Um, we have are having wonderful, wonderful events coming up this month with the chamber, with me also, but definitely with the chamber where you can come and meet everyone. It's awesome, awesome what we're doing. We are not your average chamber. We are here to help our people because we understand if we can collectively help each other, then we're, we're definitely, you know, sticks in a bundle cannot be broken. If we stick together, then we also know that we have to help each other. And definitely, you know, I've been in different uh, uh, organizations and um, mostly cultural, and we also speak about Ubuntu, which is you are me and I am you. So if you're not well, then that means I'm not too well, okay? We can say this goes back culturally, you know, Sister Angela Davis said, you know, one of us being oppressed, everybody being oppressed. One of us sick, all of us sick, because we're all together in this. So if I don't do my job of telling you to get better, <laughs> then it's my fault, especially if I know that you need something. So I again want to stress to you that yes, this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, 
But we should be aware of this every single day. It shouldn't be a month out of the year that we should be talking about uh, cancer because it is a stressor and we don't have just October of the year to be stressed. We're stressed 365 days a year. And again, this is towards the end of the year. So we gonna, we're going to have more stressors because it's going towards the holidays. You know, uh, we miss our family. Uh, we reminisce, you know, um, we want things to be better. Life is not so, not as good as it used to be. You know, so there's just so many stressors and so many things that we deal with. You know, there's a lot of things going on in the world and it affects us. We're being affected right now. We can talk about what goes on in other parts of the world. But there's a lot of things going on in South LA. There's a lot of things going on in California, you know, that affect us. Yes, we live in a big world. Yes, there's other things that are going on. And yes, they affect us. But if we don't come around and take care of this, take care of us, take care of you, then all those other things that are going on in the world really don't mean much. You really don't mean much. Okay. We need to take those things in consideration. Okay. So beta carotene color is so important. It's just so important in your food. If you're not, if you're looking at your plate and it doesn't have any orange or red or purple, the darker the color, the better. Okay. So broccoli, carrots, grapefruit, kale, one of my favorite things. We should be eating greens every single day. Every single day we should be eating greens because one, that is chlorophyll. It's green and you're oxygenating your body. And oxygenating is the different, it is opposite of antioxidants. So if we're oxygenating our body, then again, we're adding to our health. Very important. I like to use this uh, research, which was stated that if we were to eat greens every single day, every single day, let's say for a period of five years, we're eating a salad, we're eating some greens, we're eating a Greens and cornbread, you know, black people, we eat greens and cornbread. That's a good thing, okay? We have been doing that for generations. Come on now, okay? So let's say if if, if um, uncle been eating green uh, greens and cornbread for 20 years and he's 75, okay, he has the mental capacity of a 64-year-old person because it literally takes 11 years of uh, how uh, of your physical capacity, it minimizes it because you have constantly oxidized your body. And what is the first thing that happens when you have a stroke? We want to get oxygen to the brain. So if we're eating greens, we're oxygenating our brain. So if we're eating greens on a consistent basis, guess what? We're oxygenating our body and we're fighting cancer. Okay, we're fighting cancer. Yes, we're fighting it with our beta carotene and everything. But yes, greens have chlorophyll in them. That's what makes them green. That's what makes the green the leaves green. So that's what we want to ingest in our body every single day. So I hope that I have given you some information here that's really going to help you. So I'm just going to do a little recap. Okay, so... Himalayan salt lamps emit negative ions, which bind with the allergens in the air, okay? Binds with it. So in essence, it's cleaning it, cleaning the air, okay? And it binds with the allergens and it just pulls them down to the ground out of the air, okay? So it would behoove us to have one in our home, especially near... Uh, uh, the flat screen, especially near the game console, <laughs> especially near the computer, especially near the computer, because it is all emitting, uh, it's all emitting radiation. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this, okay, because everybody has one, everybody has a phone, we all understand that this is a radio transmitter, okay, and so when I always talk about putting your phone down, really good to put your phone down but you, there are devices that you can buy that you can put on your phone that neutralize 
the electromagnetic field. So I will definitely put this in the information because we all should have it. Again, we should be intentional about what it is we're doing with our health because we are exposed to a lot, a great deal. All the information will be in the um, be at the bottom of YouTube. Himalayan salt lamps, again, they're awesome. You should have them. It's a one-time purchase. You won't have to purchase them anymore. Um, really good. Beta carotene, sweet potatoes, squash. It's a great time of year. Apples, apples will definitely save your life. They'll save your life. Apple a day keeps the doctor away, you know. And I'm a person that, again, because I cook for people, I want to know exactly what it is that I'm cooking for them. I want to know why this is I'm cooking this for you and what it'll do for you. So when I talk about an apple a day keeps the doctor away, it's just not something that we just say. It really is. It's, it's really good for your digestion, really good for your uh, the enzymes, really good for your digestion and uh, antioxidants. You know, go apple picking. Wonderful. Okay. Butternut squash, again, orange, beautiful orange. Orange is antioxidant, the beta carotene. Here we have our spaghetti squash. And this is how we look in the stores. I tried to, you know, and I cut it in half. And this is when you see this in the store, pick it up. Pick it up. And when you go, you know, when you go to cook and you're not quite sure, Google. And if you don't want to Google, call me. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Um, they're definitely vegetables that we should have in our arsenal this time of year. Okay. Of course, you can take those sweet potatoes, slather them with butter and sugar, but then again, you can bake it and just eat it with some olive oil and some seasoning. Much better way, much healthier. Again, if you'd like to get some everyday elixir, this is, you know, it, it, being a, a personal chef, I, I service clients and so I'm very one-on-one. -on -one. So this is an extension because being a native of Los Angeles, I care about my people. I want everybody to be healthy. I can't be in everybody's kitchen, but I can talk to you about health and wellness. And I can give you something that you can take away and say, gosh, I guess I do feel better. Maybe I need, do need to think about these things that um, are being said here because if we just do a little bit every day of this, it gets us on a better track because yes, we do have, we do have air pollution. Yes, we do have stress. Yes, we do have crazy things that are going on in the world. Yes, we have crazy things that are going on here. Let's just be real. Okay. And so we all need to deal with that in some way and we all process it in some way. But I hope that these tips that I have given you um, have helped, have helped. So we are almost, oh, it's 1047. We are almost in the end of this. So I just want to give you guys um, an update of what it is that I'm doing. Again, this is the LA South Hope Foundation where we're helping other people every day. That is the arm of the LA South Chamber of Commerce where we are not your average chamber. I love my members. They're all great people and we all learn from one another. Remember, together we're better. Okay, so next week, I am at Willowbrook Senior Center. This is the Chef and with Cheryl show, which is every month, okay? But next week, I will be at Willowbrook Senior Center teaching healthy, healthy cooking. I'm so fortunate that because I kept showing up there, they want me to come some more. Isn't that a great thing? Wonderful. Next month, this is on Zoom. Every other month, I'm either on Zoom or I'm live. Next month, I am at Willowbrook Senior Center on the 16th, which is a Thursday, always the third Thursday of the month at 10 o'clock where we're going to be live. And we're going to continue this, this, um, this conversation about fall foods because there's just so much we can do. There's so much we can do. And I'll probably be doing more fall foods and uh, more comfort foods, because again, you know, this is the time of year where, you know, we're a little st more stressed out because, you know, we're missing our family and everything. And sometimes they're always not around. So we'll be covering more fall foods and more health and wellness as usual. Um, that is what we're doing next month. And again, next month, I will be at 
Willowbrook Senior Center again on the 19th of, um, of November. And I believe the fourth is always the first and the third Wednesdays at Willowbrook Senior Center. So I, I am so fortunate that I get to come go into the community and talk about health and wellness and educate the people. And, um, you know, this is my calling. So I really appreciate this platform. I am so uh, glad that I have this opportunity to uh, talk to you about these things because we need to talk about it. We need to be consistent in our conversation about whatever it is that we're talking about because the only way, I, I can't just be a one-off and tell you, oh, get a Himalayan salt lamp. If you know Chef Cheryl, Chef Cheryl has been talking about Himalayan salt lamps for years, okay? But if you come into my house, you'll see them, okay? So this is definitely, definitely a time. And again, it's orange, it's fall. And again, this lamp is very calming because of the orange glow. Interesting, interesting, interesting how colors play such a big part. So again, my name is Chef Cheryl Tate. This is the Chef and with Cheryl show, okay? We are... Uh, a part of the LA South Hope Foundation, which is an arm of the LA South Chamber of Commerce. We are not your average chamber, and we are here to help other people every day. So I hope that you will, when this is recorded and you look down at the notes, that I will give you uh, information on how to roast spaghetti squash and definitely information about everyday elixir. Um, information on where you can get Himalayan salt lamps from, where you can get good ones from, because you can get them anywhere. And I would say if you're going to look for one, um, make sure that um, you know what it is you're looking at. Make sure you trust your uh, your retailer. Amazon is a pretty good retailer of these things. I haven't bought one from them, but the link that I'm going to send you where you can go and order them from, they're very reputable. They are not in California anymore, but when they were in California in Paramount, I was always in their warehouse looking at their lamps, <clears throat> pardon me, and, and they buy their products. So all this information will be at the bottom of this uh, video when you go to click on it. And again, I can be reached at Nurturing Chefs LA. And again, my information is always available. If you have any questions, you can always call me, okay, or get in touch with me. But I am, again, in the community. I'll be at Willowbrook Senior Center next month, the <clears throat> excuse me, the 16th, the 17th, okay, I'm sorry, next week, no, excuse me, Thursday the 16th, and then um, the first and third Wednesdays in November and December. So again, I hope that we meet each other and we talk to each other and we talk about everything that there is to know about health and wellness. And then again, you know, our Chamber of Commerce has a wealth of people that you can learn about business development, entrepreneurship, health and wellness, your health. We're not your average chamber. So again, this is Chef Cheryl. I appreciate you. I thank you so much for your time and please be well. Thank you again. Bye.